Today we'll be talking about Moon Wallet and how to use it to pay Lightning invoices. I'll start by creating a pin for my wallet. Next, I'll confirm my PIN. When it's complete, you'll see a pop-up letting you know that your wallet was created successfully. Next, I'll back my wallet up. I'll do this by entering my email. After I add my email, I'll need to confirm it by clicking a link. Next, I'll create a password. Moon has a unique backup process that uses both an email and a password. This means to recover your wallet, you'll need to have access to your email that you selected and the password that you chose. You'll need both of them for the recovery, so be aware of that. Okay, now that my wallet is backed up, I can choose to set a secondary recovery method. It's highly recommended that you do this as a failsafe, but for today, I'll skip it. Now I'll add funds to my wallet. It'll give me an address and QR code. You can choose BEC32, native SegWit, or legacy addresses. I'll go with SegWit to save a little on fees. Alright, my funds are now en route to my wallet, and they'll be there after confirmation. From my BitRefill app, I'll be purchasing a Steam gift card. I'll click Add to Cart, and I'll continue to checkout. Here you can see my order details. I'll be changing the payment method to Lightning Network. Then I'll click the big blue Open in Wallet button, which will launch Moon. I'll need to enter my PIN again, and it will load the payment details. Then I'll click the blue Send button to make my payment. The Lightning Submarine swap will confirm instantly. Okay, now you can see that my payment is confirmed, and you can also see the Lightning invoice payment details. Back in my BitRefill app, you can see that my order has completed, and that my gift card has been delivered.